Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my, uh, my review for Katsuki no Yona episode, uh, OVA number two. This one goes over, uh, a little more backstory on Zeno, since we didn't get it because they just had to end it the same episode we get him. Sorry, I had to take off my ring because I was kind of getting a little tight on my finger. And it turns out that obviously uh, Yona and the others do not know this, but he was actually the original Yellow Dragon, Yellow Dragon Warrior. And not only is his body indestructible, and when I say indestructible, he does get you know get hit and take damage, but his body heals. And we actually get to see the original White Dragon Warrior, the original Green, and the original Blue. So and the actual Crimson, the actual Crimson Dragon. And he looks just like Yona. I swear, Yona is his, like, what, how many greats? Great, 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 granddaughter. Or something like that. Essentially, she's his descendant. And, yeah, essentially, due to the indestructible body that the yellow dragon, that Zeno got, he can't die. And even if he was to inflict a wound on himself, it heals. Just like that. I can't snap my fingers. And the king realized this as he was telling the others about it and hugged him. And Zeno obviously does not know what this means, but yeah, I realized this afterwards that the king realized that Zeno's never going to die. He's going to outlive everybody and probably outlive his descendant. The only way I can think of is if, uh, the only way I can think of as to how Zeno can die and go to, you know, heaven to be with the rest of his, uh, long lost friends is if he has a child with a woman and that child ends up being the Yellow Dragon Warrior. The next Yellow Dragon Warrior. Though I'm sure that he hasn't done this. I assume he hasn't done this because he doesn't want his child to go through that. Because he's already gone through essentially hell, outliving not only the his master but his comrades, and having to watch them get reborn, again and again and again, until you know the current ones were born. And apparently, when Yona was born, a red a red light appeared in the sky. I don't know why, but. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And essentially, I would not. Wi I would not want eternal life. To be completely honest with you, the only way I would want eternal life is if the only way, if I want to die at some point, that I will be allowed to do so. That I can like inflict a wound on myself and die. Essentially, he can't even get sick. That's the only way I would want eternal life. To be completely honest with you. Because going through life and being able to die and have an end is probably a saving grace for everybody else that Zeno knows because he cannot die. He cannot, well, he can't die, he can't get sick. His injuries heal, and yeah, during I guess it only happens during combat that when he gets injured, when his skin heals, it becomes yellow dragon scales. So yeah, I don't know what else is going to end up happening, but yeah, I felt so bad for Zeno. I was so confused at first, and then when he mentioned, you know. Any injury he gets healing, I realize that, oh dear, yeah, that's the original Dragon Warrior. Because, yeah, the other Dragon Warriors got old. They got old, had families, and died. And, yeah. 
anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.